Yesterday I was dead set on wearing my truck stripe flannel suit from Spian McKay. Threw my shirt and tie on, threw my pants on, went in the closet. And I was like, yo, I'm gonna kill him with my new burgundy shoes from Enzo Bonafe. Pulled those shoes out the box and then realized I haven't done an unboxing for them. Life of a menswear YouTuber. Intro. from chaseandrider.com. In this video, I'm gonna do an unboxing of my burgundy shoes from Enzo Bonafe. Shoes come in a blue box. The first thing you notice, it says 1963, which is when the company was established. And the crazy part about it, the namesake of the company, Enzo Bonafe himself, still goes to the factory to this day. Now, real quick, I know it says made in Italy. In the fashion industry, people always relate made in Italy means it's quality. You can go to your local mall and there are plenty of shoes that are made in Italy that are way overpriced for the quality. But that's not the case with Enzo Bonafe. More on that later when I unbox the shoes. But back to the box. Item number here is 3966. Enzo Bonafe has probably hundreds and hundreds of styles of shoes. And this is what identified his style by this item number here, the 3966. From the Vitello Yoko, that's the color of the shoes. So that's the burgundy color of these shoes. And the 946 is the last. Enzo Bonafe has so many different lasts. The last is the piece of wood that the leather gets stretched over that gives the shoe its shape. And the seven here, that's my size. Uh, I wear seven UK, which is equivalent to an eight US. Now let's get to the unboxing. First thing you notice is that the shoes come with a shoe horn and you got Enzo Bonafe written on it. And the shoes come in two shoe bags. These shoes come in a nice shade of burgundy and this style of shoe is called an Adelaide. This is a cap toe, you can see it has some bulging on it. And one thing I like about these shoes is the peak heel counter that you see here. Now the peak heel counter is not exclusive to Enzo Bonafe. If you're a fan of Gaziano Girling, the St. James shoes is known for having a peak heel counter. Now this style's been around for years, nobody can really claim that they came out with it. But the pick here counter to me, it's always been a nice touch. On the inside, this is Enzo Bonafe, handmade for Scotty Bolaje. Scotty Bolaje is a store in Sweden, which is where I got these shoes from. These shoes cost $550 US, that's with shipping included. One great thing about Enzo Bonafe is that their shoes are handmade. Handmade construction is one level above Goodyear Wealthy. And that's one thing that contributes to the price, 550 compared to let's say Carmina, that are around 450. The 946 is a beautiful last. It's not a round last, it's more of a square last, but it's not too sharp. One thing I love when I open the box is that these shoes came with flat laces. I definitely prefer flat laces over round laces. Usually one of the first things that I do when I get a pair of shoes is replace the round laces with flat laces. And with Enzo Bonafi, I didn't have to do that because it came with the flat laces already. Burgundy, as I've explained before, is one of my favorite shades of brown. It goes with practically everything that you can throw at it. And there's good news and bad news when it comes to these shoes. The bad news, if you want these exact shoes, you will not find them on the Scope website or anywhere. Once they sell out, they don't bring them back. The good news is, Enzo Bonafe has one of the best made-to-order programs. A made-to-order program is when you can come up with a pair of shoes that you want made, and the company will make it for you. Enzo Bonafe has thousands of styles to choose from, dozens of last, so the possibilities are endless. And if you're interested, Scope can send you a bunch of pictures of shoes that they've made in the past. That way you can get some ideas. 
It does take four to five months for Enzo Bonafé to make the shoes for you, and there's also a 20% upcharge. Now you might be thinking that's a lot of money because the shoes cost 550, so a 20% upcharge takes you to around 660. I know it's all relative, but really that's one of the best deals in the shoe industry to have a pair of shoes made just for you for only a 20% upcharge. Now I've seen some brands charge a 50% upcharge for the same exact thing. But let's say you do want a pair of shoes made that the store no longer carries and you don't want to pay that extra 20% upcharge, they do have a program called a group made to order. A group made to order consists of four orders. So if you can find three other guys to go along with you, the shoes will just cost you the base price, which is 550. Now there are limitations. All the shoes have to be made on the same exact last, the same exact color, the same exact style. You might be able to, depending on the style of the shoe, to have different widths, but not all their styles come in different widths. So if you have three friends, or better yet, if you're on a forum like Style Forum, or if you're on Reddit, you can post that you're thinking about getting these shoes made. You can post some pictures, come up with some ideas, and see if other guys are willing to join with you. Yo, I think every man should have a pair of burgundy shoes. And this from Enzo Bonafe is one of my favorites. These are the kind of shoes that make women stop you on the street just to compliment you on your footwear, and make guys stop you and ask you, yo, where'd you get those from? So I definitely recommend these shoes. So if you like this video, make sure to check out my other video called the three must have shades of brown shoes and I'm going to post it somewhere here. So that was the unboxing of my Enzo Bonafe Burgundy Adelaide. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe. Everybody going to think that you a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.